when you sit there and and I, I wasn't going to, but I'm, I'm going to screw it. Roxy, what? don't hold. Roxy, put, just hang tight. I, I just we have to hear <laughs> it. I'm sorry, right Roxy, now. but this has to be said. Damn it. Uh, when you sit here and blame Whitey for everything, and I'm white. Look, man, I, you know, I, I have never held anybody down or back in my life. Never got any special treatment, you know, any of this shit. When you sit there and blame everybody, including me, for your problems, which I caused none of it, I'm going to tell you to go fuck yourself. No, I, absolutely. All right. Um, we went from... Uh, in a 10-minute span, we went from transgender bathrooms to owning slaves to uh, I don't know what. So I, 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 I got to stop the madness. Man, we, we got more important things to talk about. We got music. We got fun. We got rock and roll. Let's do this. Let's welcome back our good friend, <laughs> the one, the only, Miss Roxy Petrucci. Hello, Roxy. How the hell have you been? Holy shit, what were you guys talking about? <laughs> oh my lord, save me, please. <laughs> I don't even know how it got that far. <laughs> Here, blame me. It's my fault. There you go. We'll blame you. <laughs> uh, no, let's talk rock and roll. There you go. Hey, you know, yeah. the scary part is, like, when I, I have, like, this weird connection to you now. Um, the last time we talked was actually it was just over two years ago. It was February third. Wow, was it that long ago? Wow. It was two years. Yeah, February third, twenty fifteen. We were doing our interview, and as we were just starting to wrap up, my cell phone started ringing, and it was my niece. And my sister had been deathly sick at the time in the hospital, and I saw the number ringing, and I was like, "Oh no." This is it. And I was like, I got to get off. I got to get off. And I rushed you off. And that was the call I got letting me know my sister had passed. So I, That's always, right. I always remember that moment. Yeah, actually, I emailed you afterwards. I always remember that yeah. moment. Yeah. Picture of you. Oh, jeez. My mind. But it, it's it's a it's a it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Not not to All right, you're breaking up. I'm sorry. Oh, let me, I'm let sorry. me move. <laughs> it might be me. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. No, but it's it's it, 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 it's all good. Not to bring the show down or or bum us down anymore after all the the slave talk and transgender talk. But <laughs> well, I, I just heard. I heard. I came in and and, and part of it, and then I just started chiming in, but you guys weren't hearing me, so I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to steer it towards rock and roll. Let's get off of that. Let's talk about rock and roll. There's enough Let's of that. Do it. Do it. So uh, again, two years, and the, the funny part was like two years ago when I was talking to all you guys, it was like, yep, yep, we're working on it, we're working on it. And the funniest thing was, Chris was the first one I talked to, and Chris was like, yep, in like a couple months it's going to be out. And when I said that to each one of you guys, you all laughed. You were like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, give us another thirty years, it'll be out. <laughs> oh, no, actually, oh. it was just, it's just a timing thing. I mean, look, we haven't been to, we haven't played together in thirty years. Um, we want to make the best record possible. So, you know, everybody's grown and done different things. So, getting us back together and getting us on the same page and and um, you know, it just it took that long to get everybody happy with with what, our product. And sure. it's going to be great. Um, we're taking our time. We want to make. We just don't want to pedal a piece of shit. We want. Madame X wants to release a great record. So each song, we want it to be a great song, and I think we nailed it. Um, Michael Wagner mixed it. Unfortunately, oh, nice. we ran out of time with him, um, so we had three songs left over. Um, he didn't have time to mix. So luckily, Mark Slaughter, who is an amazingly talented guy, he also mixes and produces and you know of course he's in slaughter and um he uh i asked him hey would you mind mixing the next three madam x songs and um he said yes of course and i don't know if you've heard the solo stuff but the guy he can do metal too that guy can do anything so i think he's going to be a good um he's a good fit for the band too uh as far as 
kind of matching Michael Wagner's type of mixes. So it's nice. going to be really good. And then Mayor Applebaum is going to master it. So if you can hang on for maybe two more months, <laughs> we should be ready to release it. What's two more months? Yeah, It'll be well know. worth the wait. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, talking about Mark Slaughter, like – you guys put out this uh, this uh, new project with Mark. Um, I guess it was around the new year with the Killmeister song. Yeah, December 28th, we released it. Yeah. Um, what happened there is, well, you know, Maxine and I are doing the side project, the VIP after okay. show, and um, we were looking for somebody to sing Killmeister. And I played many shows with Slaughter, and... Um, you know, I seen him on the ship, and I approached him and said, hey, you know, we got this tune. I think you'd be great on it. And he said, well, you know, give it to me. Let me hear it. So I gave him Kilmister, and we're releasing another song called Full Metal Jacket. So we happened to be on the same flight together, too. So he, he listened to it on the flight. I saw him headbanging over in his seat. I'm thinking, okay, good, he's digging it. And uh, sure enough, he said, yeah, let me let me sing both of those, but, I, you know, let me – sing it the way I sing it. And I said, of course, do your thing. Put your Mark Slaughter stamp on it. And right. he just nailed it. He oh, nailed awesome. it. And then we also have a bass player called, his name is Michael Pasculi, and that guy's just crazy good. And again, we said, Michael, just do your thing. Put your I Michael you, when, stamp on it. When that tune came Everybody brought out, their A game. It, yeah, like when that tune came out, I was like, all right, here we go. What, what, what do we got here? And then as soon as I hit play from the opening notes, I was like, oh, this, this home run, home run. Because yeah. I, oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, just, we're really happy with it. It's very, you know, it's very motorhead esque. You know, I yeah. think I think Lemmy would have dug it. Exactly. And, and it's That's exactly what you I know. It's, it just it just feels right, and and the lyrics came together pretty easy. I mean, I'm a big Lemmy fan. I love his lyric writing. So, you know, I just he he writes about gambling. He likes women. He likes whiskey. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's actually picking up a lot of steam too. I mean, yeah, I'm getting a lot of requests for it, and uh, you know our our. Our uh, lyric video on YouTube's getting a lot of hits, and it's just kind of like a slow build, but it's it's get, get really really good responses. So we're we're pretty thrilled. It's such an awesome song. It really is. No, thank now, you. you. Thank you. Were you close with Lemmy at all, or just a, a, a big fan of him? Or? Well, you know, whenever I saw him, which would usually be at the Rainbow, we would <laughs> we would sit and chat. Uh, he would do most of the talking, and I I listened, but I you know I had a hard time understanding him. <laughs> it's just that accent. I don't know why that and my hearing, but uh, yeah, no. I mean, he was he was really cool to me. In fact, when I was on tour with Vix, and this was back in the day, uh, we were I don't know we were, we were out with Deep Purple in Europe or something, and I got back from the road and there was a message. And back then we didn't have cell phones; we had answering machines. Remember those? Yeah. And it was it was a message to call Lemmy. So I called him and. He actually wanted me to be a special guest on his record. They were releasing, oh. I don't remember which one it was at the time, but this would have been 1990, 89, 90. And it was, and it was just, I called him and he says, well, you know, it, it's too late because it was like a month later. And I was like, oh, my God, that, mm. that would have been a, a career highlight for me just to be playing on one tune. But uh, yeah, he was he was a really nice guy. Yeah, and I would hang with him at the Rainbow and whenever I saw him. So yeah, he was very friendly towards me. Now, w when you get a message like that, like, do you get scared? Like, I, like back then, like when I was younger, like looking at Lemmy, he used to scare me. Like it took many years. For yeah, he's intimidating. You know, he was intimidating, but he, but he was not like that when you talked to him. He was just very, very down to earth, very personable, and just kind of like tells it like it is. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I was certainly intimidated. It, it's Motorhead, and and here I am, you know, I, I wasn't that big, but um, I would have jumped at the chance. It was a missed opportunity, but you know, that's life. Yeah, this is true. But you paid an amazing tribute. So you know what? How about we play oh, that? You. Now? We can play that for because we got we got a bunch of music to play for everybody. So let's play that okay, one now. Cool. For and then uh, we'll come back. We'll talk some more about more everything. We got all types okay. of music to talk. So let's do that. So here let's it is, everybody. 
Killmeister. Now, let, now let's clear this up too. Originally, it was called the After Show, and now it's the VIP After Show. Am I correct? Yeah, it's just to to avoid any confusion with this. There's another After Show. Um, they're like a poppy, not you know, not metal at all. Gotcha. So we just thought, and besides, VIP works best with what this project's about because we, Maxine and I, want to work with our peers and and uh, people like Mark Slaughter, and we were, you know, like some talented artists. Every, sure. you know, we're gonna write, keep writing songs, and it, uh, whoever we think will be a good fit for it, we'll approach them and see if they want to sing or play guitar or drums, whatever. But we want to um, just kind of work with. A lot of different uh, artists, if possible, and we're just cool. going to keep writing. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do it. here. It cool is. thing. VIP after show with Killmeister. I love that tune. Oh, I freaking love that tune. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> it's even got the Motorhead ending. It's so awesome. I just love what uh, Mark Slaughter brought to the party. He, he did. Perfect fit. He really, really nailed it. And Maxine now, too, with the with the little, just the, the guitar touches she put in there is a very Motorhead. Totally, so, uh, it's so awesome. Now and again, going back to like the first time I heard it, it was like almost I felt like uh, for both you and Maxine, like it was like unleashing the beast. You know what I mean? Like you guys <laughs> put the music out finally, and uh, it's like it's been years coming between uh, like now with this project and Madame X. I mean, you guys got to be super pumped. Oh yeah. And super busy. I mean, we're just, it's, it's, it's weird because once we started writing for the Madame X record, we haven't stopped. And that's why, you know, the after show came together too. It's just, we're writing, so just a lot of stuff that is, isn't necessarily a good fit for Madam X or Vixen. So we're just just going to keep writing and and uh, it just it just we really dig what we're doing. You know what I mean? Where it's really heartfelt and we're we're going back to our influences and uh, I'm just like putting little little bits of it into, into the music that we're writing now. So uh, we got a lot of stuff to do. That's awesome. Now, how about that? Like when you just said, uh, you know, you guys have been writing a lot of music over the last couple of years and, you know, you felt like this wouldn't be a good fit for a Madam X. Like who was the one that turned around and said, all right, uh, what if we just do something our, ourselves? Uh, well, we both just kind of came to that conclusion. <laughs> it might have been me. I might have said, let's just do well, I think we both did. We both were just like, you know, let's just release this ourselves. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. Like, when you guys put it out there, I was like, whoa, wait, hello. Like, how'd this happen? When did this happen? And where's Madam Well, <laughs> what, you know, what happened here, too, with Kill Mister, Kill, at first, when we were writing for Madam X, I, before Madam X, I, was, I wrote this song with Chris Faze. It's called Detroit Black. And okay. that ended up on the Madam X record, the new Madam X, X, new Madam X record. And I was writing the lyrics for Kill Mister, and, and uh, Chris Fays came up with the music for Kill Mister. Um, that's when I gave it to Maxine, and we we made this the after show. Um, and then from Kill Mister, we went to Full Metal Jacket, which Maxine nice. wrote. So just I just wanted to give credit where credit's due on Kill Mister. Chris Fays wrote the music on that. Cool. So we took it, you know, Maxine took it and owned it. And so then now, from here on, it's, it's just her and I writing everything. And it sounds like uh, you said, like, this is something you guys want to do where you're going to reach out to peers and make it like a, a collaboration with all types of different people. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I'm sure they have – there's a lot of musicians out there that I, I'm sure have some good ideas and good music or, you know, they need an avenue to to uh, to express and and uh, I think she and I, uh, you know, we're kind of there too. So we would love nice. to just work with other musicians and see where it takes us. Sure. Now, is yeah. this something new, uh, like, are you guys going to do, like, single-by-single single releases, put an EP together or an album, or? We're going to do single-by-single. Single. Nice. Yeah. I mean, now, way- after Kill Mister, we have Full Metal Jacket, and we're working on another tune right now, um, called six days to sunday and nice. it's pretty heavy 
pretty heavy. <laughs> we're we're into the heavier stuff, but oh. it's it's a good thing. It is a good thing. It's good to see you playing some heavy stuff again. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's in our blood. And the Madam X record has a lot of heavy stuff, and it also has, you know, the stuff pe- that people are expecting, you know, the high and high school type. So, but but I think people will be very pleased with it. There is really something for everybody on that album. I think so too. I I, I think people like are going to lose their mind when it comes out. I really do. I think it. I mean, just from the, you know, from what you guys put out a couple years ago, um, with that single, uh, another eighties. What was it, another 80s rock oh, song? Oh, 80s uh, rock song. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I and, mean, you know, that was – Chris wrote that with um, Greg Stryker, and um, we weren't thinking about releasing a record. Um, we just were going to release one song. You know, we didn't know where, what was going to happen with it, but we just wanted to do that basically for the fans because we're getting a lot of – Fans asking us, hey, you know, can you know, sure. what are you guys doing? Is Madam X ever going to get back together? Blah 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 blah. So it was like, well, let's just release a song and see what happens. But that kind of sparked the interest in all of us. It's like, well, let's do more. And you know, we all got involved this time, so we we all wrote for this record. So and you'll notice the, the, the difference in in the writing, but yet there's still that common thread of the the four of us. You, you'll hear it. It still sounds right. like Madam X. Some of it's heavier, some of it's not as heavy. Now, who you but should it all do, kind of works. Who you should do most of the writing before? Um, on the first, uh, Chris and Brett. Okay. They most of the Madame X record, the re-reserve the right. Yeah. Okay. Huh. That was the only album we released. We only had one yeah. record. That was it. <laughs> but hard. now, you know, this follow-up is, I think, good going to blow that one away. It's a, it's a true joint effort this time around. Yes, yes. Even though the, the initial, band, the, the release, the, the We Reserve the Right was a great record. But this, this one's going to be more of who we are. Uh, this is going to be awesome. And I'll tell you what, the, the title, now the, the song you gave me is also going to be the album title, correct? Yes. Right, Monstrosity. There you go. Thank you. Because I, I can't. <laughs> and and that person. pretty much sums us up. Monstrosity. <laughs> Man of X. We are bigger than life. Yeah. You, when you guys said the name of it, I, that's what I, I was like. That is the perfect title. I, I oh, cool. I, yeah, you couldn't get a much more perfect title for that. And the artwork is phenomenal. We just got we got that finished. So, I mean, it's it's really, really, really good. I mean, we're we're pretty excited. And, you know, we actually have record company interest, too, and that is another reason we're kind of like, um, you know, I mean, this record's taking a long time, and it's just, that's, just the, that's just the way it is. But there's record companies now that are interested in um, maybe signing the band. So but we'll see, awesome. see where that goes. Because initially we were just going to release this all on our own. Right. Let's just do it ourselves. Let's do everything ourselves. Let's just put it out there. Well, we yeah, may so have some help. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. Now, who, uh, who somebody made you guys uh, like the the pop figures that are out that are taking over the world? Oh of yeah, a friend of ours, JT. Yeah, his, his he and his son they make these pop figures, and when they when, we, when I saw that, well, actually all of us were blown away because he really captured like each individual in those little pot in that little pop art. It was like wow, yeah. he did an amazing job. They're yeah, they're they're pretty wild. Godzilla yeah. is hilarious. Did you look at that one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was oh, uh, just great great stuff. <laughs> yeah, we have some talented friends and fans. Oh, uh, that's awesome. And and they're very loyal too. Oh I, hey. I I think it shows. I mean you, you figure what, it's been, you know, 30-something years, and uh, all these people are still chomping at the bit for Madam X? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were still coming. Even when I was out, I was in England with Dixon, we were doing the meet and greets, and every time there would be a Madam X record or Madam X 8x10 or poster coming through that line wanting me to sign it, and I was like, that's really what sparked the 
us releasing the single too was you know the fans we did it for the fans they want it right so yeah there's they're still there and they're anticipating this record and they're being very patient and i thank them for that <laughs> did, did you ever like look at one of the fans like when they brought one of them up to you like maybe like early on like when you weren't expecting it and just look at them and be like really like <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah and you know what and some of them are really young too. I'm like, really? That's really cool. It's like, yeah, I'm, you know, their parents or whoever turned them on to it. So there's a whole generation of rockers that love the '80s stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Very, very cool. It stood the test of time. Absolutely. Well, let's uh, let's stand the test of time some more, and let's world premiere this. I, I mean, people are chomping at the bit to hear this. The fan, the Madame X fans are dying to hear this. I got to hear it. Crank it up. I was like a giddy schoolgirl listening to this this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's pretty cool. Well, everybody crank it up. Here you go. Let, let's try this. And we'll come back and we'll, we'll uh, talk some more and we'll wrap it up. But let, let's do this. World premiere, Madam X. I am a lucky son of a bitch, people. How about that? Here it is. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> yes. How about that? That is so freaking good. In your face. In your face. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that, you know, you don't hear people singing like that either. I mean, Brett just nailed that. Totally. I mean, he's totally. so made for that. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I'm telling you, I was like a kid in a candy store this afternoon. I was cranking that up in my office. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they did it again. <laughs> cool, good. Yeah, well, you know, the, we played it for a handful of people, too, and, and um, some younger kids, too. Just, and they're like, wow, we're, you know, where can we get that? That is that killing, man, that's killing. So, I mean, that's that's cool when you got young 18-year-old, 20-year-olds digging that. They're like, oh, yeah, we got more. We got more. There's more where that came from. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we, we can rock. We can still rock for our age. You know, we're, we're, we might not be 18. We can still do it. Age nothing. Yeah, age nothing. Age is nothing. Just a number. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is so awesome. So now how about uh, in the world of Vixen? What's going on there? Oh, we're we are um, going to start playing again. We took a little hiatus. Uh, March 25th, actually, is our first starting back up. Uh, we're playing in Toledo. We recorded um, some stuff on the the ship just for for a possible live release. So okay. we're going to see how that goes. Um, but yeah, we're we're gearing up to go back on the road. Or you know, we're weekend warriors, but we plan on playing sure. all summer long. Nice. Yeah, so lots going on. Busy, busy, busy. Busy MTV is good. That. You guys will be at M three, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I just cut out again. I heard nothing. Uh, yeah, we're doing M3. We're playing cool. uh, the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut that weekend, and then we go to M3, which is always a blast. Nice. Love playing there. And, uh, yeah, we're we're going all over the place. And then the next year, 2018, Madam X will be on the cruise. Very cool. Masters of Rock Cruise, which have you I, done that yet? Uh, you know what? And we No, have no this- excuses. I told you that before. you you got to do it. I am, uh, and I've said this every time this conversation comes up with these freaking boat things, I am a pussy when it comes to boats. Like, I can't swim, and I am deathly afraid to step on a boat. You don't even feel it when you're on the boat. Trust me, you don't even feel it. It's actually when you dock and get off the boat, that's when you feel it. When you're on (laughs) dry land is when you're like, oh, God, I feel like I'm rocking. It's weird. But if you know, I mean, if you're in during a storm, well, you may feel a couple of waves right. here and there. <laughs> Just take some drama, I mean, you'll be fine. They look like so much fun, though. Everybody looks like they're having oh, a blast. Oh my God, it's just it's just a total rock concert. The whole the whole time you're there, it's just, it's just and you get to meet the the bands. I mean, it, it, fans love it, and we have a great time meeting everybody. It's just you know, it doesn't get old. This this will be my fourth or fifth one. Wow does not get old. It's a lot of fun. A lot of good gotta, musicians, a lot of good music, a lot of good drinks. Right. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I got to put my big boy pants on and suck it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, and Vixen, any new music ever possibly or, or just live or? 
Well, we have we have like a bunch of demos that we recorded, but we're not there yet. And um, it's again, it's a it's a timing thing, and a, we just yeah. gotta take the time and and start, you know, buckling down and, and doing it. It's just that everybody has lives going on too. So between playing live and then everybody going back to their homes, which is all over the place, right? Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. I got but, faith in you. Yeah, you know, we're having a lot of fun, and we love doing the live stuff right now. So, hey. As long as you're having rocking. Fun. So how about uh, let me see here? All right. So as we uh, as we let you go, we're gonna play uh, Full Metal Jacket from the VIP after show. But let's yeah. uh, get all the plugs out there on all these different projects so people know where to find you, like you guys, love you, buy music. I see T-shirts out there that people are posting like crazy, which look cool as shit. Oh, the the after show? Yeah. Yeah, no, if you go into our Facebook, you'll have, you'll find the link to, to, to get the T-shirts, which is Right Rock. Uh, same same with um, Vixen. You can get the Vixen T-shirts at right, rightrock.com. Okay. Um, there's Madam X has the Facebook page. I mean, you, they're all there. Vixen, Madam X, VIP, after show, Maxine, Roxy, Chris, Brett, we're all on Facebook. You can find us all there. You're not going to make me uh, give you the addresses, are you? And you, no, can, no. you can you can go to iTunes and Amazon to get Kill Mister Full Metal Jacket will be released next month. Um, okay. Same thing, they're all all digital downloads, and we will will be releasing that on vinyl, but that'll be in uh, over Europe only, Europe and Japan. No figures. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll be here at some point. I hope. Cool stuff. Oh. Cool stuff. Hey, this has been uh, super awesome catching up with you. Thank you for the early Christmas presents. No problem. Thank you for having me on again, and thanks for the love. Always. Always. <laughs> you the man. Hey, uh, let's not wait two years again. So uh, let's let's uh, speed it up next time. Sure, anytime. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's I'm do here. this. VIP after show. Roxy, thank you so much. Here is uh, thank you, a play. Thank you again, and we'll talk soon. And here is Full Metal Jacket. There it is. VIP after show with Full Metal Jacket. It was like a rock and roll Christmas, that interview. New music, world premieres. Roxy Petrucci, come on. There you go. Santa came. <laughs> Came back early in February. Good stuff. Wow. I didn't catch my breath after that. That was good. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm like super excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the little things, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. New music gets me excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> Especially when I get the world premiere it. 